Morning, Valder. How you doing? Good day. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Who do I have on the line? This is Dave Zukowski from Hyundai Motor America. Hi, Dave. Thank you so very much. Well, I heard you've got some information for us. We do. We have a very exciting month going on. Oh, great. Did you bring a friend also? I did. <laughs> Who did you bring? I brought Kenny with me. Kenny, why don't you tell her about yourself? Hi. My name's Kenny. Hi, Kenny. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Well, you get to be my guest today. What do you want my audience to know here and across the globe? Um, that I'm 10 years old and that I'm in fifth grade and that I'm the Hyundai Hope on Meals National Youth Ambassador. What a great job. I hope you're having a great time touring because I know it's back to school. Yeah, I am. Well, thank you, Kenny. Dave, let me ask you, you and Kenny are hanging out. What's going on with you guys in Hyundai? Very busy month. So um, we have an initiative called Hyundai Hope on Wheels, and we've been doing that for um, about 16 years. It started in 1998. And over that period of time, we've generated about $87 million in pediatric cancer research fund. And we do that with every vehicle we sell, our dealers, we've got 825 dealers nationally, and they all contribute to this, 100% of them, and we match whatever they contribute, and that's amounted to $87 million to help fight pediatric cancer research. What we're doing in September specifically, it's National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and we leverage the Hope on Wheels program to raise awareness and generate more funds for pediatric cancer research. And so what we're going to be doing this month is we're actually going to 36 different children's hospitals in 21 states plus the District of Columbia. And we're going to be presenting checks for $250,000 to doctors for specific pediatric cancer research. So in September alone, that'll be over $9 million in research funds that'll be distributed. That is awesome. That really is. And I know that's a really big, uh, will help take a bite out of the research to help find a cure for uh, children's cancer. Right. Let me ask you, um, this is something you do every year, you say, obviously. Is the need getting smaller? Well, you... no, it's really, what, the reason we got into this in the first place, and it started with a, uh, some local dealers in the New England area that had a personal experience with pediatric cancer, and it grew like wildfire after that because we realized very quickly that there was a void, that the federal funding for cancer research, only about 4% of it was dedicated to pediatric cancer. And we've got about 15,000 kids like Kenny every year, one every 36 minutes that's diagnosed with cancer. And there just wasn't enough research funding. We've got about an 80% survival rate, but that rate's remained pretty consistent for the last two decades. So we need more research to improve that survivor rate, and we're not going to stop doing this until someday um, Kenny and Kenny's parents never have to hear the words, you have cancer again. Well, this is buying a car with a cause. I love that. If my audience was interested, what do they do? Just go to the local Hyundai dealer or what? How well, do they do this? you could certainly do that. You could also go to HyundaiHopeOnWheels.org. And when you get there, the theme of our campaign this month is every handprint tells a story. And, and what's really neat is when we go present these checks for $250,000 at the children's hospitals, we bring Kenny with us. We have the doctors that are receiving the research grant with us. They tell their story about what they're going to do. We're talking to the kids that are in treatment, that are in remission, and we have a handprint ceremony where they put, dip their hands in paint and they put it on a beautiful new Hyundai, and it's a symbol of hope. And if you go to HyundaiHopeOnWheels.org, any of your viewers or listeners, they can see all these handprints. They can click on them, and they can hear these wonderful, wonderful stories, motivational stories about what these kids are going through, what they've been through, and you can give them hope. And if the Spirit moves you, you can provide an additional uh, donation that will help us fund more research. I like that. I want to just ask Kenny if I could. Kenny, would you like to share a little bit of your story? Because you are a big part of this. Well, um, my story, I was losing weight and throwing up. And so we went into the ER. And um, my doctors took a chest x-ray. And then um, they told us that I had cancer. And um, we were really scared and shocked. And um, then they hooked me up to chemo. And um, I was at that hospital for two weeks. And then I was transferred over to UCLA. 
and my aunt um, almost every day she would uh, come with her computer and she would download music onto my phone and since I couldn't get out of bed that's what I would be doing mainly the whole time and um, my friends would also come over to my house when I wouldn't be at the hospital and um, now I'm in remission. You feeling better? Yes, I am. I'm so excited for you, Kenny. And I ask my audience to hold you in their prayers because prayer works. And you sound like a little kid that prayer is a good purpose for you. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks for sharing your uh, story with us. Dave, I want to thank you for letting Kenny share. I want to thank you for sharing this, what Hyundai is doing. And once again, tell me how my audience can participate. Okay, you can go to HyundaiHopeOnWheels.org. You can see some stories and share some stories. You can add your own handprint. You can make a donation to Hyundai Hope on Wheels. But more than anything else, increase your awareness. Understand what's going on. Understand that these are kids that have a whole life in front of them, and, and, and our contributions can help them live a better life. Dave, I want to thank you and Kenny both for talking about something so worthy, so important. I love it when people have a purpose. Thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. Thank you very much for your time.